I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. So my last video was the death of King Uzziah in Judah. How he was cursed with leprosy and his son Jotham reigned as regent for four years until Uzziah died. Now just before that I had read the turmoil engulfing the northern kingdom after the death of Jeroboam II. You know, Jeroboam dies, his son Zechari uh, Zechariah becomes king, and within six months he is murdered by Shalom, who is then killed a month later by Menahem, who is able to take over and reign as king for 10 years, but then he dies and his son Pekah, uh, Pekahiah becomes king and he is killed two years later by Pekah, who then takes over the kingdom. And Pekah, he becomes king in the same year that Uzziah dies. Now I will confess that what I'm about to do for this video, I actually filmed when I was reading that earlier video about all the turmoil in the northern kingdom. But I realized that my timeline was off, and I needed to make it a separate video and put it after the death of Uzziah. So we will now get this. This is going to be Second Kings chapter 15, verses 27 through 31. And this will continue the turmoil in the northern kingdom, picking up at the beginning of the reign of Pekah, or Pika, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but he becomes king approximately the first the year that Uzziah dies. So we pick it up here. And in the two and fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekah, the son of Remaliah, began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and reigned twenty years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. In the days of Pekah, king of Israel, came tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, and took Ijon, and, Ab and Abel Beth Meacha, and Janoa, and Kedesh, and Hazor, and Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captive to Assyria. Pekah, when he is during his 20-year reign, Assyria comes in and conquers half of the northern kingdom. So it's all the land of Naphtali, that's all the land around, well, Gilead is the land east of the uh, Sea of Galilee, Naphtali is the land just west of the Sea of Galilee, Samaria is just south of the land of Naphtali, so we're talking about half of the land of the northern kingdom is taken uh, is conquered by tiglath pileser of Assyria and taken captive. And Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Remaliah, and smote him and slew him and reigned in his stead in the twentieth year of Jotham, the son of Uzziah. And the rest of the acts of Pekahiah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. So Hosea becomes king in the 20th year of Jotham. I mean, keep Remember that. We'll, we'll talk about it more in my next video, which is about the beginning of the reign of Jotham and Judah. And we'll talk about that timeline a little bit, because there's a little confusion here. But he takes over and he becomes king. He will be the last king of the northern kingdom. It is the end of the reign of Hosea that the Assyrians come in and wipe out Israel. So I just I, I wanted to mention that, and we'll just leave that here. But we will see you in our next video.